Other news of the day, an El Paso County judge just decided the man re recently convicted of killing 19-year-old Cara Nichols will face a longer prison sentence. The typical sentence for manslaughter ranges from two to six years, but with this ruling that Joel Hollendorfer is a habitual offender, he could face anywhere from eight to 24 years in prison. KRDO News Channel 13's Annabelle Childers is live at the El Paso County Courthouse where a judge just made that ruling. Annabelle. Yeah, Bart Heather, this is big for Cara's family and friends who obviously want to see Joel Hollendorfer in prison for as long as possible. And even though the jury did not find Hollendorfer guilty of first or second degree murder, one juror tells me today that this is what they want to see too. There's no emotion allowed really. And then all of a sudden the emotion is just there. Though the trial of Joel Hollendorfer is over, the heaviness of the case still weighs on one member of the jury that found him guilty of manslaughter. I'm still left with Cara's family has not heard what we felt about their daughter and we never thought badly about her. That juror doesn't want to be identified, but she does want to set the record straight. We tried to make second degree fit, but we couldn't just because ultimately the state couldn't prove that he intended to kill her. 19-year-old Cara Nichols disappeared in 2012. Colorado Springs police arrested Hollendorfer for her murder nearly a decade later in 2022. After court records showed Hollendorfer's ex-wife told police he confessed to accidentally strangling Cara to death during sex. We went over photos again, timelines. We just really wanted to make sure we got it right. On its own, the jury's guilty verdict of manslaughter carries a two to six year sentence. I would hate to see the two to six years. I truly believe that he um, deserves way more than that. But today, the judge on the case ruled that Hollendorfer had enough prior felonies to be considered a habitual criminal. Because of those felony convictions, per state law, Hollendorfer now faces up to four times or 24 years in sentencing for the manslaughter charge. What matters to me is that we we were there to give a verdict as his peers, and we did the best we could with what we were given, and it has nothing to do with who Kara was as a person. Hollendorfer will be sentenced at a later date, likely in September. Reporting live at the El Paso County Courthouse, Annabelle Childers, KRDO, News Channel 13.